Hello, it's Mr. Britton from Britton Computer Tech Tutorials. This is part two of my paper doll inventory system. And in this part, I'm going to show you how to set up your variables to control the attributes of each object that you'd like to collect in your game. To do this, I'm going to use what's called an array. So I'm going to give you a little overview of what an array is. An array is a uh, is a way to name variables very quickly and also it allows you to reuse code um, without having to rename everything and you'll kind of see how that works in the next part but the first step you want to do in this system is to decide what attributes each object that uh, you want to collect will have and so what you're going to do is you're going to set up a, a variable and you're going to call it global dot slot and then in rounded brackets you put one comma zero equals. So that's the variable name right there. It's called global dot slot. And, and by the way, if you have a, a global in front of a variable, that means any object in your game can use that variable. It's not limited to a single object and that makes it very desirable in this system. So I wanted to have seven different attributes for my items. The first one was slot number and this will basically keep track of what slot the item is in in my in my inventory. The next one would be what I want the name of the item to be. So maybe this will be called the uh, sword of might. That's just the text that will be displayed over this object. Now the next thing that I want to keep track of was the item type. And I predetermined that um, different items will have a different item type, and I can use this variable to place it in my correct paper doll area. So since this is a sword, it's going to have a uh, uh, item type of two. It's a weapon, so I'm going to put a two for the variable there. The next thing, next item is item quantity. So this will be how many of that particular item are in your uh, inventory. This is if you want to have stackable inventory. So I'm just going to leave this as zero right now. If you want to be able to sell the item, you could put in a price there. So maybe later on the road I'll, I'll do something like that. The next one is the first attribute. So it could be uh, attack. So I'll just go ahead and put this as um, five and I'll represent that by attack. And the next one I'm going to leave blank. I'm not going to have any other attributes associated with this sort of might. And the next item is going to be the sprite that will be drawn for this particular object. This is the most important part right now so that it actually shows up in your inventory. So I would type in the name of my sprite. So SPR brings up all my different uh, items that I have and there's my sprite sword. So now I've got my first set of variables set up for my first item which is called the Sword of Might. And I'm going to show you in my next tutorial how to set up all your variables at one time. Um, but that's the basic premise of what you do with these with an array system for variables. So thanks for watching and I'll show you uh, more on this in my next tutorial.